Philippines, Philippine Times. So last time, we are done with the vowel alphabet, such as the vowels and the consonants. Am I right? So we also have the, the review regarding the vowels. What are those? What are the sounds of the vowels, right? There are two sounds of the vowels, such as the long vowel sound and the short vowel sound. The long vowel sound sounds like the name of the letters in the alphabet, uh, A, E, I, O, U. While for the short vowel sound, we, we have this A, E, E, A, U. Okay, so those are the sounds for the vowels. Whereas for the consonants, the 21 consonants, among the 21 consonants, we have two alternate sounds for the letters C and G. C and G. What are those alternate sounds? The soft C and soft G, as well as the hard C and hard G. We are going to have soft C or or and or soft G if the letters of the word, okay, if the letters of the word such as the C or the G was being followed by E, I, or Y, right? E, I, or Y. By the way, soft C has the sound of letter S. Soft G has the sound of letter J. While hard G, which has the sound of the hard C, which has the sound of letter K, and <laughs> hard G, which has the sound of G, these are um, being followed by the letters A, O, U, and the rest of the consonants, right? And the rest of the consonants. So those are the soft C, soft D, hard C, and hard G. We also have these consonant tie graphs. How many consonant tie graphs do we have? How many consonant? Five. According five. to Josephine, five. What are those five consonant tie graphs in that? H, S, H, P, H, W, H, and P, H. Very good, Inda. Okay, so those are the consonant tie graphs. By the way, consonant tie graphs uh, are, I, I mean, composed of two or more consonant letters, okay, which makes a new sound, which makes a new sound. How about the other one? What is the other one? Consonant what? Consonant? What is the other one? Consonant blends, right? Consonant blends. So consonant blends are two or more consonants with which we can hear the sound of every letter uh, of the consonant, right? For example, the L blend. What are the L blends? B, L, C, L, P, L, right? T, L, uh, what else? S, L, um, yes, and F, L, very good, Catherine, F, L. And then the R blends. Uh, B R C R B R F R very good Charlene F R um C R what else so many things B R very good and then the S blends the S P right the S T the S R something like that the S C Okay, so when we hear those consonant blends, for example, B, L, we can hear the sound of what consonants? B, L. What consonants can you be able to hear from the word 
Blue. Blue. B L. What color? Very B -L. good. B L. From the word break. Break. B R. B R. From the word praise. Praise. B R. P R. P -R. P R. Very good. From the word crush. Crush. C R. C R. Very good. From the word um please. Please. L. P L. Very good. From the word sled. Sled. SL. SL. From the word crab. Crab. C R. From the word class. Class. C L. C L. Okay. At least now you know the difference between the consonant tie gaps and the consonant lens. Very good. Okay. Now we proceed with. What we have started last time, and those are the subject verb agreement. Remember last time, the subject verb agreement. Subject, what is subject? Okay, I'm going to share this one. So I have to share yeah. screens. Yeah, so we have to discuss the subject verb agreement. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. can you see this? Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen right now? Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, miss. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so this one. So subject verb agreement. Who would like to read what is subject? Me. 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 Nicole. Okay, Nicole. Subject is a person or thing that is being discussed, described, or dealt with. Subjects usually are placed at first part of the sentence. Very good. So it can subject can be a person, take note, or subject can be a thing. So we may be able to talk about the person. We may be able to talk about Maxwell. We may be able to talk about teacher Samira. We may be able to talk about Rosemary. Right? So we are all persons. We may also be able to talk about the president of the of Indonesia, I mean, or the president of the Philippines. They are all subject because they are all persons. Or we may also talk about things such as uh chairs, schools, something like that, laptops, cell phones, and we may also consider the places. Place, what else? We may also consider the place. We may also consider the the uh the emotion or something like that. So those are the subjects. Okay, so usually um subject and he seen or a, which are usually these are placed at the first part of the sentence. Who can give me an example using a sentence? With which the subject is placed at the first part of the sentence. Me. Okay, Nicole again. So I will have to call later. Um, Miss Samira likes teaching English. Miss Samira likes teaching English. Very good, Nicole. So who, what is our, oh, who, by the way, who is our subject? Miss Samira. Miss Samira. Samira. Very good. So we are talking about Miss Samira. So Miss Samira is the one being discussed and that's the subject, right? The subject now or the subject, we, I mean that the uh, teach, teaching English or English subject now is considered as the object. Okay? It may be considered as the object. Well, the subject which is Miss Samira is actually the one being discussed or described in the sentence, right? And then from the sentence that was given by Nicole, what is our verb? 
What is our verb? Teaching. Teaching. Is it teaching? It can be. What else? Teach. What else? Aside from teaching. Teach? Samira likes teaching English. Okay. What? Miss Samira likes teaching English. Subject. Who would like to try? According to Nicole, it is teaching. It can be. What other verb can we have? It is what? Miss Samira likes teaching English. What is that? Honey. I want to give an what? example. Yeah, we will give you another example later, okay? So, you can say that we are talking about the verb like. Like. But since last time, remember last time, we talked about the rules regarding the subject verb agreement, regarding the singular as well as the plural subject, right? So, if we are talking about singular subjects such as Miss Samira, what are we going to do with the verb? Remember last time? What are we going to do with the verb? When Miss uh, when Miss Samira is a singular subject, what happened to the verb? It will it be the original form of the verb, or will it be a verb which was being added with s or es? Remember last time? You actually uh was able to answer some of the some of the activity that I had given you, right? Okay, so Miss Samira likes teaching English. Miss Samira is the subject, while likes is actually the verb. What is the original form of the verb like? Likes, I mean likes. What is the original form of the verb likes? Like. Like, very good in that. How are you going to make? The sentence becomes, for example, we identify the original form of the verb like. How are you going to make a sentence using the verb like? Using the verb like. How are you going to make a sentence using the verb like? I like ice cream. Like ice cream, okay, very good. I like ice cream, although we are talking about I, which is actually the a singular subject. But since we are talking about a first, I they call this one first subject, which is the I. Remember last, remember last time I told you about the sub the singular verb uh subject verb agreement regarding the. The I and the you. The I is the first person. The you is the second person. If we talk about the first and the second person, the subject, I mean the verb, will be used as the original verb. So that is why the, uh, the sentence which was given by, who gave that sentence? I like ice cream. We did not add S or ES from the verb like. Very good. Okay. What else? Make the subject as a plural subject. Can you make a sentence using the verb like and make the subject becomes plural subject? Anyone? Who would like to try? Some mangoes. She likes some mangoes. She likes some Mangoes. It. Okay. She. It. 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 She uh, likes it. Eat some mangoes. Uh, she likes to eat some mangoes. Okay. Very good, Rosa. She likes to. Oh, you can say she likes to eat mangoes. As easy as that, right? She likes to eat mangoes. By the way, she is another subject wherein it is a third person. It is a third person. She likes to eat mangoes. Very good, Rosa. Okay. How about a, for a subject using a plural subject? How about a sentence using a plural subject? 
ม่งกแอนิวะค่ะโอเค I will have to call someone ค่ะฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าม a กซ์เวล make a sentence using the verb like and make the sentence uh, the subject becomes plural okay yeah, yeah. my what Darren who is that oh so hot this is my Who is that? I uh, can you can you close the I uh, can you <laughs> who is that? I wasn't able to see. Okay, where is Maxwell? Hi. Anyone? Yeah. Hello. Okay, make a sentence using the word uh, the verb like. Oh, Suhan, gimana sih caranya ngajarin kamu der? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Di sini Jadi kamu, ya. ini pasti ingin semua duduk cek, kok tadi ajarin? Apa sih, gue udah tau! Yaudah, duduk situ. Ah, uh, it's Darren. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to unmute you. I to mute you. Okay, now. Who would like to give an, an, an example? Uh, uh, Maxwell. Yes. Yeah. Give me an example. Or give us an example using okay. the verb like. Like. I like. Yes. Yeah. I went. I like donuts. I like donuts. So you are talking about what are you talking about? Is it a singular subject or a plural subject? Plural. Is it plural? Yeah, I Do say. You I use s. Ah, okay, you you use i, and then you also use the verb like. That's good. But can you make a sentence? Using the verb like as well as make the subject becomes plural. Okay. Make the subject becomes plural. Okay. I'll... Anyone? I like donuts. Yes, you like donuts. So you are still using a singular subject. Am I right? Yes. Class, do you think? Wait, I, like... I don't use S. Yes. Yes. I you don't do use S. Yes, no, I don't Yes. Use... Okay. I will have to tell you this one. If we are talking about first person, by the way, what is a first person? First person is I, right? First yeah. person is I. Who is the second person? The second person is you. You. Okay? The second person is you. If you are talking about I and you as well as Uh, the common one, I and you, you do not have to add S from the verb. Although you are talking about a singular uh, subject I and a singular subject you, you do not have to you or to add S or ES from the verb. That is why, listen carefully. I'm, I, I don't... like don't. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes and S. You like telling... Uh, They like. Uh, he like. Is it he like or they like? What? Okay. Listen. Listen again. Are you If talking? We're talking about the first person I. Okay. Listen, Maxwell. If you are talking about the first person I, although I is a singular subject, I it is only me, right? I. I do not have to you or add s from the verb. I will have to use the original form of the verb. For example, I like ice cream. I do not have to say I likes ice cream. You do not have to do that one. You only need to make I like ice cream. Right? Because you use the subject I. And then if you talk about you, which is the second subject, listen carefully. You can also say you like ice cream. You like ice ice cream. You do not have to say you likes ice cream. You likes ice cream. You do not have to do that, right? You only have to say you like ice cream. But if we talk about the uh plural subject such as we, but if we talk about the plural subject such as we, we can say we like ice cream. We like ice cream. 
Where is a plural subject? That is why we use the original form of the verb like. We like ice cream. You do not have to say we likes ice cream. You only have to say we like ice cream. Or you can say Nicholas and Sandara uh, likes ice cream. I mean like ice cream. Like to eat ice cream. Nicholas and Sandara like to eat ice cream. You can say that one. Okay? I have okay. a question. I have some uh, explanation a bit. Okay. You you tell us. Uh, if the subject is he, she, or one person, yes. uh, the verb is at S or ES. Yeah. Okay. When you say first person, it tells us the, the pronoun I. Okay? I. First person. Second person is you. You. Okay? You. That is a second person. But if we talk about the third person, such as we, it is not applicable. We is not applicable. So we just, we have to follow the rules. But for the first person and the second person, that is actually one of those exception to the rule. Exception to the rule. So you must always remember if you are talking about the first person or the second person or even the third person. If you talk about the first and the second person, use the original form of the verb. Okay? For example, you use the you use the subject as Mark. Mark, the name of Mark, a particular person. Okay. Mark like likes to eat ice cream. What is the correct verb? Mark like likes to eat ice cream. Like. Is it like? Like. like. Likes. Very good. I it like. should be like. likes. But if you say, I like, likes to eat ice cream, what is the correct like. verb? Like. 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 Very good, Rosa. It should be like. Okay. Okay. Before we, we got carried away with that one, we are going to proceed with the slides. Okay. So verb, you already know about the verb. You can either add S or ES if you are talking about subject, a singular verb. And then use the original form of the verb if you are talking about plural verb. And then object, a noun, a pronoun, a noun phrase on which a verb performs an action. If I am going to make, if I am going to make a sentence out of the examples, Subject is he, verb is gives, object is gift, a gift. So I can say he gives a gift or they give gifts. He gives a gift or they give gifts. You can look at it, right? Okay, next. These are the rules that I am actually telling you all about. These are the rules that we are actually I am actually telling you all about. Subjects can be singular or in plural form. What is a singular subject? Give me a singular subject. Anyone? Give me singular subject. Who can give me one? Look at the slides. Look at the slides. Singular subjects. What can you see in the slide? Um, only one. Only yes, one. Only one. Very good. We're talking about only one. When you talk about singular, we are talking about only one subject. So what are the examples that you can see from the slide? A girl, singular a girl, boy, girl, boy, boy, very good. And mother, school, pencil. Mother, very pencil. good. Pencil. Yes, girl, boy, student, mother, school, pencil. What else? What else aside from the examples? 
Cat. Okay, next. Cat. Okay, very good. A cat. A cat. What else? Dog. Dog. Okay, very good, Rosa. What else? Pencil. 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 Yes, pencil. So there is only Eraser. one Eraser. Yes. Eraser. A pig. Ben, very good. What else? Pig. So remember, always Cat. remember. Yeah, Cat. you are talking about one subject that, that we are actually book. talking book. about a singular subject. Camera. So uh, there, uh, when, when you talk about girl, meaning there is only one girl that we are talking about. When you talk about boy, meaning there is only one boy that we are talking about. A student. Only one student, mother, only one mother, school, and pencil. But then again, if we talk about plural subject, what does it mean? We are two talking or, about... Two two or or one. Very good. We are talking about two or more. What are the examples? Look at the slides again. Look at the yes. slides again. Girls. 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 Boys. Boys. Students. Students, what else? Mothers, schools, schools, pencils, pencils, glasses, glasses. Very good. So, yes. What? <laughs> okay. What do you notice when you talk? When we talk about plural subject, what do you notice when we talk about plural subject? It's two or more. <laughs> It's two or more. Very good to go. What else? Look at this. Look at these examples. Glasses. Teacher Samira, can I go to the toilet? Yes. yes, you may go to the toilet, Nicholas. Okay, what do you see? Girls, one. boys, students, mothers, schools, pencils, and glasses. Very good. So what did we add to make a subject become student? An S or E S. S, -R -E -S. Or -S. Very good. We add S or E S. Okay. So we are talking about subject. Okay. We are talking <coughs> about some subject. Singular subject. We do not add S. Right. Singular subject. Right. We do not add S. We are talking only one subject. Plural subject. What did we do? We use what? S. We yes. add, yes, we add S or ES. Very good. So, bear in mind, we are talking about subject. A singular subject means we, we do not add, add S, right? A plural subject means we may add S or ES. We will add S or ES. Okay, next. Singular subjects use singular verbs. Singular subjects use singular verbs <laughs> which ends in S or ES. So this is the first rule. If we are talking about a singular subject, then we must also use a singular verb. But how do we know that the verb is a singular verb? How do we know that the verb is a singular ed? I see singular ed. It is a singular verb. What do we do? Read the read this one. Read this one. This part. Use singular verbs and in, in S or E S. Very yeah. good. So we we will we will know that the verb is in uh, is in its singular form because we add S or E S from the from the what from the verb. Okay, take note again, again, again. Singular subject. We do not add S. Singular verb, okay? Singular verb, we add S or ES. Get it? Not yet. Singular subject, we do not add S. Am I right? Singular subject, we do not add S, right? Yes. 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 Singular verb, what do we do to make it become singular verb? Add an S. We F add F S F or E S. Very good. We add S or E S. Yes. So what? Yeah. So what happened to the verb? Yes. The original form of the verb. Yes, has been added with S or E S. What a bureau is papers. Yes. 
Okay, so singular verbs. What is the singular verbs? Examples are gives. Helps. Helps. Okay, very right. good. Right. Draws. Right. Draws. Discusses. Discusses. Very mm -hmm. good. So what can you uh, what do you notice? All the original form of the verb, we add S or E S, right? We add S or E S. Oh. An example, particular example. The girl right. writes oh. a letter. The girl writes a letter. What is our subject? The girl. 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 What is our verb? Right. Right. What is the object from the sentence? Letter. 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 Very good. Again, the girl writes a letter. So we are talking about one girl, which means we are going to add S or ES from the verb. That is why the original form of the verb write has been added with S to become singular verb. Okay, very good. Next, plural subjects use plural verbs of the base oh, the, form of the verb. Uh, okay. Okay. Plural subjects use plural verbs or the base form of the verb. So we do not add S or ES from the verb. Do you agree? We do not add S or ES from the verb. Yes. Y yes. So we are only yeah. using the original form of the verb. What are the examples? The examples give. are give, but yes, yeah. help. Right. right. Okay. Right. right. Draw. Draw. Discuss. 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 Okay. Paper. What about the sentence? Who would like to read the sentence? The girls write. Me. Okay. The, the girls. girls. Right. right. A letter. Um, what is our subject? The girls. The girls. The girls. The girls. Can you ask when I drink? Right. Very good. Yes. Yes. You may drink. You may drink. You may go to the to the kitchen and get your drink. Okay. So the girls write a letter. So we are talking about plural subject, which is the girls or the girls. And we are going to use the original form of the verb to become a plural verb. To become a plural verb. Okay. Who would like to give me an example? Since it is all, almost clear right now, who can give me an example using similar me. subjects? Okay, Mark. I'm going to give the plural one first. The plural okay. one is the guest just rule the world. Come again, come again. The gang just pick a gun. The gang? Is that the, the gang? Gun? Pick a gun. Okay, pick a gun. Okay, what else? The other one, the singular subject. You did not think about the other one? The, the singular. Bike. I ride a bike. I ride the bike. Okay. How about Rosa? Give me an example of a singular subject using singular verb. My daughter buys a bag. My daughter? Is that right? My daughter buys a bag. Very bag. good. Yes. So you're talking about a singular subject. That is why we added S or ES from the verb. Whereas in Mark's case, he is talking about a plural subject. That is why Mark uses plural verb wherein that verb is its original form of the verb. Okay? Do you, do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. We will slowly discuss the, the slide so that you will be able to understand. Okay? Next. Okay. So this is some example. I wonder why the boy and the girl and the picture just push out. <laughs> yes. He gives a gift. He gives a gift. 
So here is our subject. Take note according to the definition earlier of the subject. Usually, the subjects are placed or is placed at the beginning of the sentence. So he gives a gift. He is a singular subject followed by a singular verb wherein the verb give has been added with S or ES to become a singular verb. Whereas, if you are going to... Okay, it is just the same. The boy gives a gift or he gives a gift. The boy, we are talking a specific one. Uh, for example, that boy is Mark. Mark gives a gift. Or you can also say, replace Mark with the pronoun he. Replace Mark with the pronoun he. We can also use he gives a gift. Right? He gives a gift. Okay, next. Oh, I think it looks like Max. A banana. Yeah. He is very <laughs> yummy banana. Yeah, he's eating a banana. So like banana. Yeah. Banana. The banana, banana looks banana, like a minion. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> the banana. banana looks like the minions, right? Banana. Okay. Banana. He eats bananas. Bananas. Ba 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 banana. Ba 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 banana. Okay. Oh, I'm like a banana. Yeah. It's on one of the bananas. So that it would look like one of those. I do not know the name of that minion. You see it like that. Uh, I, just, I just hear Dave and then Kevin. Ah, Kevin. I think it's Kevin. Okay, next. They, uh, uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this example. They eat a banana. So banana. they is, what is they? <laughs> Subject. Is, subject. 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 What specific subject? subject. What, plural subject. Very oh. good. Plural subject. That is why you use the verb it, wherein the verb, the verb it is actually the original base form of the verb. Or you can replace they with the kids. The kids it. eat a banana. Just the same, right? It is just the same. There is no difference. We simply use a pronoun and the... Banana. Yes. Okay, next. Uh, oh, wow. These are more examples. We're talking about more examples. Who would like to read the first one? Me. Uh, Charlene. Uh, let us give... I want a number five. Charlene. Okay. More examples. Yes. The people uh, want food and... Vegetables. vegetables. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you, Shailene. Okay, look at this. We are going to discuss the first example. The people buy fruits and vegetables. What is people? Is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. What is the singular form of people? Person. Very good person. Mark really knows English. Okay, so the people buy fruits and vegetables. That is why we all know that people is a plural subject. That is why we use plural verb what is the verb from the sentence bye bye very good rosa rosa is very um focus on our discussion okay next who would like to read the next one um me uh, i want the number five eitan is it eitan antonius i think it's antonius it's not eitan Okay. The man jumps on the river. Okay, thank you, Ed Antonius. The man jumps on the river. What is our subject? The man. 
The man. 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 Is man. Is man. Is it singular or plural? Singular. 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 <laughs> it is singular. Very good. How about our verb? Jump. 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 So what do you notice? Since we are talking about a singular subject, what did we do with our verb? Make it plural. You make it. Make you it make plural. it plural. Is it you make it plural? Jumps. Does it add make add. it plural? We added add. s to become a singular verb. A singular verb. Right. We add s to make it become a singular. Verb. Okay, next, Rosemary. Read number three. Rosemary. You, you eat, eat dinner. You, you eat, eat dinner now. You eat dinner now. Very good, Rosemary. What is our subject? You. 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 What is you? you? Is it singular or plural? Plural. 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 Are you talking about a plural you or a singular you? Either plural. way, when we talk plural. about, remember what did, what did I tell you earlier regarding the second person? Regarding the second person. If we're talking about the first person and the second person, what are you going to use? You are going to use the original base form of the verb. Remember, I told you that one earlier. So, since we are talking about the second person and that second person is you, you must use the original form of the verb. Okay? We must use the original base form of the verb. That is one of those exceptions to the rule. Okay, number four. Who would like to read number four? Cloudy. Cloudy. Number four. She smiles at me. She smiles at me. Very good. What is our subject? She. 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 What she. is she? Is it, is it a singular subject or a plural verb? Singular. 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 What did we do with the verb smile to make it become singular verb? L -L. Yes. Yes. Very good. So always remember that one. Okay, last one. Nicholas. Nicholas has been raising her hand. His hand, I by the way. His hand. Number, number five, five, right? Yes, number five. I touch the ground. I touch the ground. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about the first person, the second person, or the third person? First person. First person. So what do we do when we are talking about the first person? We will use the original form. Very good, Rosa. We are going to use the original base form of the verb. Okay. How do we make it a singular subject using a singular verb? Who can make it a singular subject and a singular verb. We will convert the touch to become to be two touches. Who would like to make to make the number five example using the singular verb? Me. Okay, Nicole. Um she touches the ground. She touches the ground. Very good. She touches the ground. Me. me. Yeah, she is actually a third person. She can also be Rosemary. She can also be Inda. She can also be Nicole. Or it can also be Rosa. She can also be um a girl. Uh, yes, yes, yo. What is it, Mark? I have an example. So, okay. So, Miss Amira touch the grass. Is it? Uh, is it only touch? Miss Amira touch the touch. ground. What do you think? Miss Amira touch the grass. That's just touches. 
Very good, Rosa. It should be Miss Samira. Yeah, it should be Miss Samira touches the ground. <laughs> what about Miss Samira touch the ground in real life? <laughs> yeah. Do it now, okay. please. Just touch yeah, the ground. Yeah. Later, we will have to discuss first the the let's the grass. Oh, let's okay. touch the grass. Okay. Yeah, we all have to touch the ground somehow. Okay. How uh you understand the regarding the subject verb agreement? Raise your hand. If you yeah, understand yeah. the subject verb agreement, especially the rules, you may raise your hand. Raise and uh, click the. Raise your hand button. Okay, Inda, very good. Honey I'll and like Sandara, Mark. I would like Who to else? raise my real life hand. Uh, raising her hand. Um, Tristan, Mark, and then who else? I cannot see some of you. Okay. No, no enforcing lower my hand. Yes, okay. But is it easy or it's difficult? What do you think? Is it easy or difficult? So easy. So easy. So always remember when we talk about subject verb agreement, you must consider always what subject has been used. If the subject used is singular, use a singular verb. So how do we know that it is a singular verb again? How do you know that it is a singular verb? By what? For one name. S. There is an S or an S. Or an e -S. E -S. By adding S or an ES from that verb. And then if we are talking about a plural subject, what do you what do we do with this verb? We don't use we don't use uh at S or ES. Very good. We do not add S or ES. We use the original form of the verb. Wow. You understand it all. Very good. Next. Okay. So this one. This one is an activity. Okay. This one is an activity. I will have two hands and then you raise your hand. For the first two, who will raise his or her hand. I'm going to call him or her, okay? Number one. Okay. So we are going to identify the verb. So what the, uh, what do you look for? You are going to look for the subject that has been used in order for us to be able to identify the correct verb. Okay, number one. It's me. Parents, yes. The parents who... The food. The parents cook cooks cook. the food. Cook, 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 cook. Cook, cook. Very good. Why did we because use two person. Because, because there, there are two person. Two person. Very mom good. Mom and dad. Yes, mom and dad. Parents can be composed of or is composed of mother and father mm -hmm. or mommy and daddy. Number mm -hmm. two. Help. They, 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 they help or help the poor they, people. The poor people. people. They help helps poor people. the poor people. What correct verb are we going to use? Help. 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 What is our help. subject? They. It is plural. Very good. It is a plural subject. Number three. The girl smell, smells the flower. Okay? Smell. 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 Because yeah, it's similar Number four. The students go goes out the room. Go, the go, 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 very good. Go, go. go. Number go. five. Go, go. It's plural. It's plural he, sentence. Yes, he yeah. steps on her shoes. 
second step step on her shoes the second step 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 at at to the verb to become a singular verb singular. very good a singular sentence yes it's a singular subject what is the subject once again p e. p e. 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 wow i think rosa knows everything right now because she's very interested Right, Rosa? Very good, Rosa. Keep it up always, okay? Okay, next. He might, be, he might be have a mistake. Yeah. He might be have a mistake for having this shoe. Yes. The children share, share their food to other children. Share. Children. Share. 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 What is share? Plural subjects. Plural. Very good. Yeah. It, is, it is a plural subject. Next. Number seven. The swimmer swim swims very well. The swimmer swim, 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 swims very well. Swim, 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 swim. Very good. We are talking about a singular subject. Number eight. My father saved, oh, saves the dog from the accident. My father saves the dog. Number nine. Oh, oh, oh. The teachers teach teachers it's the students it's English. It's the teachers teach teachers the students English. No row or now. And no row. So we are talking about the plural subject. And what is our subject by the way? The teachers. 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 Very good. Number ten. The learners answer answers the test. That is why we use plural. That is plural. Okay. Who got 10? Did you all get the correct answer? Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. Everybody knows this one. Wow. Very good. Uh, I think we may be able to make or uh, to have a quiz next week. But if you are going to make a quiz next week, we are going to use the Google Meet. Okay. We're okay. going to use okay. the Google, Google Meet. I have a question. What is your question, Mark? Why do we use Google Meet again? Yes, we are going to use the Google Meet for the purpose of taking the quiz. I'm going to use a, uh -huh. the Google form. I'm going to use the Google form. Okay. Oh, that makes sense because it's from Google. Yes. That's right. Yes, okay. So you understand why we need to why we need to use the Google Meet? Because okay. of the yes. yes. Okay, so I will I will have to stop sharing now, okay? Okay. okay so be, but before that, I will have to screenshot first so that I will know. I almost forgot the attendance. Okay. So you I understand the subject-verb agreement, right? Raise your hands. Who understand? Very in, good, Nikita. Right in Maxwell. Yeah. Yeah. Binka. Catherine. Wait. Krista, Nicole, Lehana, Mark, Claudie. How about Nicola, Rosemary? Okay, Josephine, Charlene, Antonio, Farrell, Nicholas. How about Nicholas? Oh, okay. So he also understood. How about Rosemary? Oh, she's also raising her hand as well as Rosa. How about Shitya? Shitya, do you understand? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you oh. very much, everyone. Okay, so you do not have questions, I guess. Do you have some questions? Do you still have oh. some questions? No. Oh, so, oh. No. Yeah, so are you ready, oh. to, are you ready no. for our piece next week? Oh. Yes. 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 
big yes right mommy okay. 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 okay i think we for sure sir harry is with us right can we sir harry is with us can you all greet sir harry <laughs> good evening <laughs> can you all say good evening sir harry good evening sir harry Good I evening, so Hello, 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 Harry. Hello, Hello, Harry. Hello, Hello, Harry. Hello, everybody. Good evening, Hello, Sir Harry. Good evening, Sir Harry. Good evening, Sir Harry. Yeah. You guys are doing really good. I'm so proud. Now remember. Okay. Now remember. Okay. Five years from now, you will be in America. Okay. Five years from now. Okay. Yes. You will be in America. Okay, so study hard. Okay, keep on going, mom. Thank you. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Hi. Okay, so again, I will have to remind you once again. Next week, I'm going to give you a quiz. The quiz will be all about, take note, those that I have reviewed earlier, the the, the diagraph, the blend, as well as the subject verb agreement. Do you think you will be able to make it? Do you think it would be easy for you to answer the quiz? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So you must yes. always read. Okay, take note. You must take note every time we had the class. Okay, you must always take note every time we had the class so that you will always remember. I know someone, uh, I think she's not here. Uh, it is Irene, right? You know all, you I know all, I mean, you all know Irene, right? In the Nicholas, um, Josephine, they all know Irene. She's not with us here because she's already in four, basic four. I think she's also already in basic four. By the way, she is Maxwell's classmate, right? Maxwell, you are classmates with uh, um Irene, right? Wow. Well. So, yeah. Before you are classmates, no, right? Yeah, before no. I'm I'm classmate, but I already, I already moved to Tonak Bangsa. Ah, okay. So you you transferred to another school, that is why. Okay, so Irene used to be very, very good in English. Why? Because she always takes a note. When we had the class, she always writes something on her notebook so do not forget to have your notebook with you i think i saw someone earlier having re uh having write something on her note i think it's rosa yes rosa i think rosa has been writing something on her notebook as well as nicole they have been writing something on her on their notebook every time I they don't need, i don't yeah. need to take notes i don't Hi. need to take notes i just need to screenshot I use handphone. Yeah, you Practice need to screenshot, but take note, it would be much better if you write. While we are discussing, you need to write so that you will still be able to remember that one. You can easily remember what you have written than when you simply screenshot the lesson. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that is very important. Everybody have to take a note. Okay? Now, Maxwell, no. Okay, and in that now, some of the students now in basic four. Okay, basic four is already very high. Okay, very high. Now, Inda and Maxwell, they start at the same year, at the same semester. It's about three years ago. But then, yes. okay, this other kid, okay, they are very consistent. They never skip class. They keep on going, okay, and suddenly, they are in four. You know what happened in four? They already study, okay, high school mathematics and high school uh, English, okay? And everything else is so advanced, okay? So most of them uh, now learn material in you know, what we call it at high school, SMR, okay? Walaupun mereka even though they're still in elementary school at fifth grade or sixth grade, but they already learn high school mathematics. Okay, now I want you to check on the YouTube channel. YouTube, our YouTube channel. You can learn it too. Now, remember from all of the children, only Mark, okay, Mark is the one that attend the Korean, Korean language. Wow, very okay? good, Mark. 
All right, Mark, can you say something in Korean? Say something. Say, how are you? Oh. Huh? I'm saying Korea. How are say, you? Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> you see? Annyeonghaseyo. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, Finca and Nicole, oh, you oh, have oh, to oh, take oh. Korean language too. Okay? Because nobody, <laughs> nobody offer Korean language except at this. Okay, let me ask you, Finca, do you have Korean in your school, Lubuk Lingao? No. <laughs> what kind of English? Okay, what kind of English? It's very, very low English. Okay, and Nicole, do you have any, uh, Nicole, can you hear me? Did you yes. have any Korean at your school? Korean no. language? No, you see that? So TIS, okay, TISS is very, very advanced. Okay. So tell the mom that TIS here for them to help them to, you know, to move forward. Now here, Josephine, yeah, okay? Josephine, kasih tau mama, ya? Jangan ha hanya ikut bahasa Inggris, ikut matematik, ikut uh, uh, biologi, ikut semuanya. Ya, pasti kamu lebih bagus, oke? Okay? Jangan tunggu SMA baru ikut. Sekarang udah ikut. Karena itu adalah ide, ya? New idea. Okay, if you if you only follow your curriculum at school, you are running behind. Kamu tidak bisa kemana-mana. Kamu hanya bisa sekolah di sekolah-sekolah yang biasa. Tapi kalau kamu mau sekolah di Amerika, kamu harus lebih-lebih lagi maju. Oke. Okay? Nah, Mam Rosa, Mam Rosa, tolong kasih tahu ya, kasih tahu anak-anak di Maumere di NTT. Semua tolong ikut, ya. Apalagi mau mere, ya. Kalau anak-anak dari NTT itu bahasa Inggrisnya masih sangat, ya, dibandingin dengan anak-anak di Jawa, masih sangat di, di di sini ya levelnya. Oleh karena itu TIS, ya, ini open access, ya, education for all, ya. Kamu tahu artinya apa? Indah, education for all. Indah, do you know what it mean? Semua. Ya. Tristan, do you know education for all? Apa artinya? Pendidikan untuk semua. Pendidikan untuk semua orang yang mau mau dimaju, yang mau maju dibuka, ya. Nah, termasuk mereka yang tidak bisa bayar, ya. atau yang bisa bayar, karena di sini semuanya tidak bayar, ya. Jadi tolong Tristan, kamu kan sekarang sudah di Bogor ya, di Bogor kan? Ya, kasih tahu Tristan, teman-teman semua SMA, SMP negeri, SD negeri, terutama negeri, ya, mereka punya bahasa Inggris itu masih levelnya di bawah. Kasih tahu mereka untuk ikut, ya, terutama juga Finka di Lubuk Linggau. Mana teman satu lagi itu sudah sudah nggak ikut? Banyak. <laughs> sudah berhenti. Ya, ya oke. Okay. Jadi semua ya sekali lagi kasih tahu teman-teman, ya satu. Untuk subscribe, ya YouTube channel. Kedua, kamu harus pergi ke YouTube channel, harus belajar, belajar, oke, okay? belajar lagi yang sudah semua yang sudah ada, ya tidak hanya Mam Samira yang semuanya, oke. Okay? So Mam Samira, are you still there, Mam? Yes sir, yes sir, I'm still here. Sir. Okay, I pass it back to you, Mam. <laughs> yes sir. Okay, so so you you hear Jahari, right? So you must always. Uh, take note every time we had the discussion, okay? So, uh, so again, I will have to remind you next week we're going to use the Google Meet. Friday, mom. Because Friday, you have, have it. Have this coming Friday. Uh, okay, we have the class this Friday, sir. Yeah, it is. I know it is a good Friday. Do you want to teach? It's okay, sir. No problem. Okay. Jadi... Hari kita, ya, sekali lagi, bahasa Inggris itu lima hari. Tapi Jumat ini, seperti kita tahu, Jumat Agung. Jumat Agung. Ya, it depends to Mam Samira. Mam Samira, if you want to teach on Good Friday, you are more than welcome. However, okay, if you sir. want to go to church, whatever decision, but let the children know. Okay? Oh, okay, so yes, sir. Now, uh, jadi semuanya, ya, belajar yang benar karena kita ingin or ini kalian jadi dokter semua kalau bisa 
ya jadi dokter ah. kalau nggak bisa ya jadi sesuatu seseorang yang yang luar biasa yang bisa bantu papa mama kamu nanti kalau kamu udah gede ya oke okay, mam did you decide uh, so tomorrow okay, ya besok itu Miss Germain ada yes. kelas dari Miss Germain ya kemudian okay, Friday so. itu Miss Samira tergantung hmm. kalau karena Jumat Agung Miss Samira mungkin nggak bisa oke okay, mam whatever your decision oke okay? Just let okay, the class sir. know on the okay, web, sir. Uh, WhatsApp group. So before, With that yes, in mind, sir. again, <laughs> I pass it again. I have a question. <laughs> okay, sir. Go ahead, ma'am. What is it? Uh, Mark actually is asking question. What is it, Mark? Oh, Mark. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I was so confused about English class. What do you mean, sir, Ari? For the Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What day? What do you mean? Yeah. It? I mean, there's basic one, two, three, four, zero. I'm really confused. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, that is a good question. Okay, like this. Okay. Now, remember what we said, open access. Okay, education for all. Now, dulu, yeah, we only say basic zero, one, two, three, and four. We separate. Okay. But now we combine. Ya, semua yang mau belajar silakan. Oke, okay? now we are going to streamline the time. Like Mam Samira is teaching, oke? Okay? Is teaching in a, in a, at the school in the Philippines. So what we'll do here, Ma, we will make everything at the same, like five o'clock. Oke, okay? five o'clock, but two different teachers. All right, Mam Samira and teacher Jermaine. Okay. But you have to take both of them. Why? You have to accelerate. Okay, your learning. Harus cepat belajar. Harus Only cepat belajar. two. Only yeah? two. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nicole. <laughs> okay, Nicole. <Okay. laughs> Any other question? Jadi, kita nanti akan bikin jadwal baru. Ya, Sehari akan tanya, semua guru bisa nggak ajar jam 5? Jadi, jam 5 itu sudah kalian masuk, sudah ada gurunya tapi harus cek dulu dengan guru. Mam Samira, they ask, you know, if we can start at five o'clock every, you know, every day at five um, in your class. Can you I make it at class, five? Sir? Yes, sir. I can make it in at five, sir. I have yeah. also same with uh same with uh, Mark, sir. I'm also confused regarding yeah. uh, the time or the days when I'm going to teach. Uh, because I saw that teacher Jermaine is taking the time for the 5 p.m. Indonesian, Indonesian time, sir, slot. And then I, yeah, have yeah, yeah. To, I have to take the 6 p.m. Indonesian time every Wednesdays. So I was actually on the stand standby oh, mode every, every day, yeah. actually. I was still right. waiting, yes. I yeah. do not know yes when or when I will be able to to teach her. That is why I also is just uh, yeah. outside the corner <laughs> waiting to be called. Okay. Now today is six okay at six PM. It started six PM. So what about next week? Can you make it at five, ma'am? From Mondays to Friday, sir? Or Monday yeah, to yeah. Tuesday? On yeah, every classes that you have, can we start uh, at five? How about teacher Germaine's class, sir? Will she also yeah. be using teacher the Teacher Germaine, same? we also will ask her to start at five. So everything uh, so, at five. Okay, so what, are we, what platform are we going to use, sir? Are we going to use this Zoom platform, sir, or the Google platform, sir? Okay, now, for you, you have your own class. The material doesn't need to be the same, okay? Yes. All right. So you can do something. Let's say do A, and teacher German do B. But both of them English. They will be the same. They will be have the same purpose. So this is a kind of new approach, mom. We cannot. We will not differentiate the kid. Okay. Now some of the kid okay. here, like uh, Charlene. Charlene is very young. You see that, Charlene. Yes, but she listened to it. She listened. All right. Yes, sir. Now, Charlene also will have her own class with teacher German. That is fine. Okay. Mm. So everybody who want to learn, because the, the, the way they learn is uh, different. 
one is faster than the other. Okay. So therefore, we cannot open everything together. Open, open access, education uh, for. Okay. Yeah. So can I be it's able to use uh from? Uh, can I be able to use the Google Meet, sir? If I want to teach at five p.m., sir, Indonesian time. Yeah. Because Sir Germain so, would be using the Zoom platform. Uh no no this because the the time is uh, the the date is different the day ma'am. The ah, day okay. is different, the day. So we always will use Zoom, okay? Because this is the most professional one, okay? The Zoom, okay? So there will be no conflict. There won't be any conflict. You are on your own. Ah, okay. You have your own class, okay? All right. Okay. So again, ma'am, okay? Can you start at five? I, I, <laughs> the kid wants uh, yes, to know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will have okay. to start at five p.m. All right. Jadi semua Mam Samira punya kelas ya catat. Itu mulai dari jam 5. Ya, sehari akan minta teacher Jermain juga mulai jam 5. Jadi semuanya jam 5 seperti Mak bilang confused. Ya, ini jam 5, ini jam 6, ini jam segini karena kita masih adjustment. Oke. Okay? Nah, sekarang mulai hari ini ya Mam Samira mulai jam 5. Ingat-ingat jam 5. Zoom Ya, link itu tidak berubah sama, oke okay, sama untuk semua teacher, oke. Okay. Hey, I have question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do do the TIF have coding? Oh, coding class. Yeah. <laughs> coding class. We already run the coding class, okay? Yeah. I want to join. When is the coding class? Oh, you want? Okay. This is on Saturday at seven. Okay, at seven now, please. I have a question. Please, okay. Whoever want to do coding, okay. Whoever <laughs> want to do coding, send Sahari a request, okay. Because this is not coding anymore. The name is AI, artificial intelligence, okay. Now let me ask you this, okay. Finka, do you have AI in your class in your school? Artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Kamu hanya ada tik ya, tik kan? T I K. Oke. Okay? Ah, teknik ilmu komputer. Itu sudah kuno. <laughs> Oke. Okay? Itu sudah kuno. Sekarang kita pakai AI, artificial intelligence. I will suggest all of you, Ibu Rosa, ya semua ikut AI. Ya. Karena hanya di tis ini ada AI. Oke. Okay? Now, I'm going to send you the link in basic two, okay. After our meeting tonight, you will see, okay. I will send you the link to join AI. You have okay. to join and click, okay. However, it is very demanding. It is sangat susah karena bikin program. Kamu bisa bikin anak nari nari, tapi pakai program, ya. Yeah? Bisa ditulis di situ Maxwell. Bisa lari lari seperti dia punya itu tuh. Dia punya screenshot, okay. Background. Oh, <laughs> dia bisa lari-lari atau bisa bikin program, oke? Okay? Nah, AI, AI. oke. Okay? Nah, siapa yang mau mau ikut AI? Taruh itu tangan, tangan, hand your hand, hand your hand. It's me, okay. sir. Mau ikut, oke? Mak Smiley ikut, Kim Kam mau ikut. Everybody wants to join. Mary. Wow, a lot of them, mom. You see that? Yes, sir. You see, this is not over anywhere anywhere else, mom. Kalian tahu nggak kalau ikut AI harus bayar berapa? Berapa? Coba. Jutaan. Itu tapi oh. hanya ada di Jakarta. Tidak ada di Lubuk Linggau. Ya. Ya, tidak ada di Mamere. Tidak ada. Oke. Okay. Kalau kamu mau ikut. Oke, okay, Antonio, ada apa? Coba, go ahead. Berapa duit kamu bayar? <laughs> Satu juta. Ya. Yeah. Only two teacher in this class. Oh, English class 3 juta atau 1 juta? <laughs> 1 miliar. <laughs> Berapa <Okay>. berusaha? <laughs> ya, jadi ingat ini ya. Ini kita ini sudah tujuan daripada tes ini hanya satu, Borosa. Ya, memberi kesempatan open access education. Kedua, kita ingin anak-anak yang pintar ini punya masa depan. Kita akan bantu mereka semua untuk pergi ke Amerika untuk belajar. Ya, sudah ada bukti. Ya, Kak, siapa yang tahu Kak Michelle? 
Kak Michelle sudah ada ya. Kak Michelle itu sudah tiga bulan tiga bulan dari sekarang akan berangkat ke Amerika. Oke, okay? dia sudah diterima. Si got accepted into four empat universitas. Oke, okay? di Amerika. Yosefin, kamu mau nggak pergi ke Amerika? Kasih tahu mama, mama pasti di situ mendengar ya di samping. Coba kasih tahu mama. Sudah empat universitas yang terima dia. Oke, okay. kasih beasiswa 230 juta satu tahun. 230 juta beasiswa. Bukan hanya satu universitas. Oke. Okay. Nah, dalam waktu dua, dua hari ini, kita akan mendengar lagi dari universitas yang besar-besar di Amerika. Oke. Okay. Now, mom, with that in mind, oke, okay, you go ahead, mom. <laughs> Okay. They do not so, want to leave. Mom, yes, they do not want to leave. You are more than welcome to teach them one and a half hour if you want to. <laughs> yes, sir. They don't want to uh, leave. Do you have time to teach them one and a half hour? It's right here. I already finished. Yes, I already finished the cooking. Yeah, tapi anak-anak ya, anak-anak ini tidak mau keluar karena masih mau belajar. So, sehari tanya Mam Samira. Kalau Mam Samira bisa mengajar, if Mam Samira can teach you another half an hour edition, okay, like one and a half hour, okay, she will be willing. If she willing to do it, we will uh, just go ahead with that plan. Mom, do you yes, think sir. you have time? They do not to leave. They do not want to leave. <laughs> yes, sir. I still, I still, hi, Charlene. What is it, Charlene? Miss Harry. Ah, oh, Sir Harry. So you want to add something? I'm on a rant. From Sir <laughs> Harry. Sir Do Harry. What? Uh, Charlene? My yeah, mom Charlene. just told me to leave. Oh, uh, okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> yes, you may, you may leave now, Charlene. Yeah. I also Bye. Bye. Dinner. Okay, Charlene. Okay, yeah, Charlene. Charlene. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bye. All right, mom. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys, everybody. Okay, bye. sir. Bye bye, bye, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, man. Bye bye. 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 Yes. Okay, bye. 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 Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so on Friday, yeah. if we will have the class on Friday, I will have to give you the quiz on Friday, okay? I will have to okay. give you this on Friday, okay? Every Monday so Friday. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. So okay. see you. Uh, I think some of them would like to leave now, sir. Okay, bye-bye for bye. now. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 See you on Friday. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, mom, you can teach this Friday or you pass. Yes, sir. I will have to teach this Friday, sir. Oh, okay. It is the uh, the Good Fridays, okay? Yes, sir. You see that? They do not want to leave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They, yes, sir. You know, this is very <laughs> motivated because they already knew how important it is, okay? Yes, sir. They knew it. And we appreciate yeah. and they appreciate your time. Okay? Yes, Treat sir. them like it is on, you, you know, your own daughter and son. Yes. And, okay. And long behold, okay. So, mom, you can uh, you can stop the recording first, mom. I okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes.